fourth yeah. quarter in the overtime yeah. is just him playing bully ball. Yeah, I mean, he, you know, he forced his way downhill, you know, got to the free throw line, got a, got layups. It's tough. You know, it's a team effort, you know what I mean? And then, you know, when he doing that and, you know, um, you got Beasley out there, you got Dame, you, you got shooters out there, so you kind of got to pick your poison. You know, um, it, it gets tough. You know, um, I think even besides that, we still gave ourselves a chance and an opportunity to win a game. You know, I think we missed a lot of easy shots that could have went our way, that could have changed, you know, the dynamic of the game. They just wasn't falling. They was coming back on the other end, you know, getting downhill. I feel a little bit like San Antonio tomorrow with all the assists and, and the scoring. I don't think I ever scored 40 in San Antonio. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, um, you weren't allowed? <laughs> no, <nah>, I just... <laughs> um, Nah, man, just just the guys, just trying to find the guys, find them in rhythm, get them going. They do a hell of a job. Just you know, trust me when I had the ball, and you know, I just try to find them, try to manipulate the you know the offense as best as I can. You know, when we when we plan how we play. Mark, speaking of your stat line, I know it's in a loss, so that's the main focal point. But you're the first bull uh, since Michael in '92 to have 40 points or 10 assists in the same game. What's your reaction to that? I mean, anything. With Michael Jordan in it is is a hell of an accomplishment, you know. Um, you know, it's a hell of an accomplishment. You know, I never take nothing like that for granted. What's your reaction to Kobe? Amazing, amazing, amazing. He could do more too. He could do more. I mean, the, the dude is amazing. I'm just happy that you know people are starting to see how talented and how you know how much of a competitor he is. You know, I said it before. I worked out with him all summer. You know, just to see his growth, how much he wanted. You know how much he asks questions, how humble he is about the approach. You know it's amazing. You know um, to be a teammate and be able to, you know, see the growth and you know um, see the things that he do. What about the team? Four game winning streak comes to an end tonight. But what, what are you learning about your guys throughout this stretch? Our resilience. You know we we come together. You know we dropped this one tonight. It was tough, but you know um, we wasn't we wasn't going to win the next 60, 60 games in a row. You know, but we understood. You know. Um, it's all about how you compete, you know. It's how you how you lose when you can carry it over to the next game. And this this is a loss that, you know, it sucks, it hurts that we lost, but we all competed. You know, um, things didn't go our way. A couple calls didn't go our way. Um, you know, I think we just hype, you know, to have another another challenge versus another good team tomorrow at home. Back to uh, Kobe for a second. Well, even from the start of the season, what kind of the biggest difference that you see from him? Him having more control, you know, just, just you know, throughout the games, I asked him what he want, what he want to call, what, 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 you know, he in control, you know, and, and the more he accept that and buy into that, you know, we follow behind him, you know, he pushed his pace, he pushed his team, we play off him, um, and you know, he hold everybody accountable, you know, you would think he's been in the league longer than what he's been, you know, and, and even on top of that, he still asks so many questions, and he. Um, you know, he listen, you know, he give his opinion, you know, just a hell of a, you know, teammate, to be honest. Thank you, Marlon.